Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's Fantastic Friday, well it's Friday for patrons, but not for normal humans. So we're on day five of Flipper needing to lay her eggs. And once you hit around a week or so, it starts getting dangerous. So in today's video, you know, she was up again early this morning, looking around the pond, trying to lay, but she just wouldn't. So today we're gonna take her walking around and see if she will find a spot just around outside of the enclosure and lay those eggs. Now I'm gonna be honest guys, I really didn't expect much to happen so I just used my phone to film this but as we can see Flipper was trying to dig with her front claws on like literally my patio which was kind of weird here she is going around the side of my house and I just kind of put her down and wanted to follow and see where she went to try to let her choose where she wants to go and so you can see she's basically shoving her nose down trying to find a place with proper humidity. She goes through my fence and she's rolling on under the rosemary bush just going crazy looking for a spot to drop these eggs. Now here she is going into my neighbor's patio, who luckily is not home during the season, but she took a nice little break there, which was really cute. Then she managed to make it back over to my house and into some rocks, which is not an ideal place to be nesting. All in all though, I would just wanted to follow her and see where she went and leave the entire process up to her because worst case scenario, you know, I can just put her back in the little sandbox enclosure and see if she lays there after walking around for a while. And then she went under my car so I had to stop filming and run after her before she got very far underneath. Not under the cars, love. Not under the car. So I always noticed that Flipper would go towards the base of plants and she would be particularly interested in those types of areas. So I put her in the front yard in my mulch bed and I know that I said that she doesn't like mulch but I don't think the issue was mulch. I think that the issue was her not liking, you can see here she's digging with her front claws so she's definitely interested in this area. She just didn't like the fact that it was an open area. So. Then I took her around near my neighbor's yard where they planted some plants kind of nice nice around this like generator, like electrical unit. And there's her head to the left of the bush. And as you can see to the right, there's material being flung because she began digging. She shoved her nose really, really far down in this spot and started digging with her front claws a lot more than normal. And sure enough, before I knew it, she started digging. So I wanted to move away so that way she couldn't see me. And, you know, I just sat there and I, I could barely see her flinging around some material with her back legs. So here she's pushing around the mulch and moving it out of the way so she can begin digging in the dirt. And so at any point during this process, I would know that she's done if she started, you know, moving to the left away from this rose bush. Or whatever it is, I don't know what kind of flower it is. But I sat there and, you know, just prayed the entire time that she would not move. So I sat there and sat there just hoping and praying and there she is. You can see it better when it's sped up. You can see just like barely how she's digging and whatnot. And then before I knew it, after, you know, maybe 30 minutes of me sitting there, it looked like she was putting material back in rather than taking it out. And sure enough, when we fast forward the footage here, you can kind of see her covering up the area, patting it down and tamping down the dirt on where she was just digging. Now I didn't know if she had basically laid the entire nest and then didn't drop the eggs, which you know, sometimes they'll do. They do weird things, terrapins. But here she's, she's pulling mulch from around the area and, and trying to cover up the nest to make it seem like she was never there. They call this the happy dance. Um, it's just a cute little term that they use for terrapins trying to mask the spot that they were in. And you can see that she spends a good little bit of time doing this. And sure enough though, there's me laying flat on the ground waiting for her. Are you all done? Are you all done? Did you do it? Did you do it? I'll be able to tell when I pick you up if you're light or not. She did it. I could tell she's light. Let me check. Let me palpate. She's empty. She's empty. She did it. Yes. Yes. Nice job, mama. Let's get you home and get you some calcium. Oh yeah, baby. Then we get to go dig up eggs. Come on, mama. Let's go home. Woo! Woo! 
Woo! That was so quick. She did such a good job. Here you go. Good job. Woo! You did it. You did it. Yeah, baby. Let's go dig them up. Poor thing. She's probably exhausted. She needs to go sleep and, and rest. Hi, Mama. She's going to be hungry now. So I don't want to use this old vermiculite that hatched and incubated the other turtles because just in case there's bacteria or garbage or whatever on it, I don't want to reuse the same material, but I will reuse the same container. So let me rinse this out real quick and get it filled with new good stuff. Okay, I'm hunched over like a little goblin, but we got our vermiculite right here. I'm going to dump it in and I want to go get these little babies as soon as I possibly can. That's why I'm hurrying up. I know that we have predators and garbage that live here. So we got this and I just need a little bit of water. So we're gonna add our water here, nice amount. I'm using like drinking water so that way I don't run the risk of any icky nasties in this. It's also why I replaced this with brand new vermiculite to mix it all together. Make sure it's just nice and damp and humid, not too wet. Eh, maybe a little too wet. I'm gonna add a little bit more, verm more vermiculite and then we're gonna go get the eggs. Okay, we've got our vermiculite. We're gonna go, go get the babies. He's shaking. Dan, show them your hand. Like legit. I try, I try to keep <laughs> nice and calm, but we take a look at the scene of the crime. She dug and then they do a really good job. I was watching her and I was like, is she already covering it back up? So we can see it's bare, like this is indistinguishable from the surroundings. She did it right here and she packed it down, packed it down, and then she grabs the mulch from the surroundings and then uh, that's how they cover it up, make sure no predators get to it. But now it's how gonna- can you even? Oh, you would never, I mean, this is packed. It doesn't even look like it was dug up. Yeah, I know, it's crazy. Be careful the flowers. Um... I will pay for the flowers. Here we go, yeah, 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 that's punching. I'm gonna dig up this whole area. Oh, this is the most nerve wracking thing. We'll get it from the other side as well. It looks like nothing's been done here. She did a really good job. Okay, so just uh, us. Yeah, no, 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 you're good, you're good. Here's number one. Oh, there's number two. There's at least two. I kind of want to break this away. Oh, wow, this is a. Uh, Surprised she was able to get through this. That's Only so weird. slightly, extremely nerve wracking to me. You know what? I'm just gonna sit here like a freaking paleontologist. Wait, how many eggs there? Probably only like three. And I can, okay, so here's something. I can rotate these because they've been just laid, you know, five, ten minutes ago. So the embryos have not begun to develop. So it doesn't matter if I grab them like that. All right, we got at least three. Oh, wait. And I just dented it a little bit. Oh. Not a problem. I would guess, my professional, unprofessional opinion, three. There's this one. Three little fatties here. Oh, that's a nice surprise. Number four. Um, yeah, only well, they're a little dented, but they should puff right back out. So I get a lot of comments that tell me, hey, you didn't look hard enough, you didn't look hard enough. Guys, do you, I knew exactly where she laid them, and this is already hard enough to find. And I'm trying to keep them the same orientation regardless, even though I know it doesn't technically matter. That, I would be very, very surprised if she did more than that. Okay, now we're gonna take these home and we will start incubating them and I'll know if they're any good tomorrow, which they should be. So now we got four and then we got six already cooking and we'll have 10 total, hopefully. So as I mentioned, Flipper likes the base of plants because it ensures proper humidity. Plants always, you know, retain their humidity and moisture down by the roots. So what I'm gonna end up doing at some point is going ahead and planting probably like a hosta or something kind of nice that's low hanging and doesn't have really deep and crazy roots. That way, you know, she can go to the base of these plants and, and lay those eggs. So it's like kind of like I did the beach for nothing. No, they prefer sand, definitely. I mean, they'll do dirt and other stuff, but I think sand is easier for them to dig through and I don't regret doing that one bit. Plus it looks better and it'll reflect more sunlight so it doesn't get as hot back there. So now our next step after those baby uh, terrapins hatched out a few weeks ago, you can see that, you know, that's just vermiculite and water, but it's gotten a little bit dirty in here. So those are the nice pearly white eggs. We can compare those to these fresh ones. So in about 24, 48, maybe 36 hours, they should all start turning like that. So 29.6 Celsius, so that is 85. Oh, well, that explains why I got all girls last round. Oops, <laughs> um, I'm gonna turn down that 
um, and you know get it to 82 so that way I have a mix of male and female. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the older babies, grab it like that. We're gonna put the fresh ones down below. And the reason we're gonna do that is because when these guys hatch, I wanna be able to, you know, see them right away. So let's go ahead and grab this. Shouldn't be too heavy or anything. And there we go, we're all done. Now in order to replace the calcium that Flipper just lost and make sure that, you know, she's got all of her nutrients and whatnot, there's mama. You can tell she's super duper hungry. So are the other two, but Flipper especially. So I'm hard boiling some eggs to give her because that will replace, she'll eat the eggshell and that will replace the, um, what is it called? The calcium that she lost from the eggs really nicely. Look at the box turtle, look at Otis. Otis's little face is right there. It's so funny, he's just sitting there. So we're gonna try to throw him a little tomato right there. He should go for it. Jelly is wanting that, but instead we're gonna give him a piece of a strawberry. Dude, all right, here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna crush a piece like this and now it'll smell. And now he'll go for it, told you. Oh, there you go, nice. His attitude just changed entirely once he saw what this was. Here you go, friend. There you go, get a nice water. Nice juicy strawberry. Easily one of my favorite turtles of all time. I think I'm gonna do two. So as I mentioned, we're gonna feed hard-boiled eggshell to Flipper so that way we can replenish the calcium that she lost. Let's crack some pieces off here. Here you go, Flipper. Gotta take it quick. There you go. There we go, girls. They're gonna get very competitive over this. Whoever will eat this, let me take it. There, I want Flipper to grab that. We want Bean to get some of it. And the fish will eat that. Everyone will eat it, to be honest. And of course, we have our little babies here to feed. Who is around? Who is around? Here you go, buddy. There, you see how food-driven he is already? Here you go, bud. There you are. Now he's gonna go nuts eating all that. These little babies are all over the place because I threw in some whole pellets and once they soften up, they're able to rip them apart and eat them like just fine. I'm gonna get a little closer. Hi, little baby. And now they're mad. Sorry, little ones. So now everyone is fed. We have a couple of turtles probably going to new homes on Monday. If you guys take a look right above me, we have some big old storm clouds rolling through. So I need to get started editing this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.